I'm not going to be able to make the presentation that I wanted to make. And in fact, I had extra presentations for you. So that's going to go. So I'm just going to tell you what I would have talked about if I had been able to. So I'm going to just briefly mention two projects, which are coordination projects that we're running in Bolton, the Institute for Educational Cybernetics, where we really want participation from the community. So I'm just going to pretty much tell you what the themes are, invite you to join in, and I'm just going to mention a product that we have uh, which we can come out of an early project, which I would also encourage you to look at if it's in the area, your area of interest. Um, these two projects are the VALS project, the Virtual Placement of Student Programmes in Industry, the Lifelong Learning Programme, and the LACE project, the Learning Analytics um, Coordination Project. Um, both have partners here. And we're, both of these are looking to change practice, and both of these were looking for your participation if possible. Um, the virtual alliances, um, I won't even look at my slides to move me along quicker. Virtual alliances is, it, 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 we're looking at testing the statement which businesses say they want to collaborate with industry and they want input into, into, into uh, they want input into the academic institutions they want to collaborate. And we're kind of testing whether the academic institutions are really ready to participate with industry. And we're doing this through open source software as the medium for collaboration and communication. Now this is a great idea, but like lots of other things, it's been tried before and it hasn't worked. So what are we doing this time to make it work and why should you be interested in, in, in joining in? Um, the Google Summer of Code has been a big success. Google Summer of Code invites students to work on genuine projects from open source foundations to resolve their problems, to bid into and get some money back for doing some work in the summer. Which is great, but it has absolutely nothing to do with their studies. So what we're looking to do is to take this methodology, <laughs> this approach, and integrate it with the studies so that the students can get credit for it and so we can tie in, use this method to tie in the universities and the uh, industry. So we're building an assessment, we're creating an assessment methodology to help the universities incorporate this approach. We're, we're engaging with the open source foundations to create a large portfolio of projects which are appropriate for students to engage in. And we're extending the Google's uh, open source platform for coordinating this process. And uh, you can expect in around Easter to find a substantial portfolio of projects which you can bid into to get um, to participate in this program. Now, the, the, the pilots will be initially with the academic partners who are involved in the project, but we would welcome participation from any partnership. So what we have to offer to you is the methodology, the, the platform for collaboration, and mainly, I think, a big attraction, these, this body of, of projects from the Open Source Foundations. Uh, LACE, the other coordination project I want to mention is for uh, learning analytics and education data mining. And if you're interested in these areas, I encourage you to, to keep in touch with me. It, 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 we haven't even started the project. The project starts in January. And, and we're a group of partners who are very committed to the ideas of, of learning analytics, but also have concerns about where we're going, whether we're missing out on opportunities, whether it's being misapplied, how, what the implications are for, for educational institutions. So we will be um, trying to bring the communities together and stimulate the creativity in those, those communities and think how, what, how this can be best used. And also creating a knowledge base uh, where you can go and find out what's actually happening now. You can contribute your, your own research and explore the ways which we can use this technolo these technologies in the future. And that's the end of my presentation. However, <laughs> don't jump yet, at least here. It's okay. I'm just going to show you briefly. I was going to demo this system, but I'm not going to demo it. I'm going to tell you what it is. The iTech project, which we're just completing, um, is, a, is an integrated project, it's large scale pilots in, in schools around Europe integrating, in trying to integrate learning technology across 
schools, not only in the, tra the trailblazing schools. Now we have, there's a number of problems you can imagine with doing this. One is that the education systems are all different. It's hard to compare across different, uh, different education systems. It's hard to develop uh, activities which work across all systems, and that's one line of work. But there's another problem, which is that they all use different systems. So what do we do in order to pilot an activity across multiple platforms, across multiple systems? And the, uh, what we have done in Bolton as part of this project, I'm just talking about a little part of it, is to develop um, the, uh, uh, an app store, effectively. An app store, a widget store, which allows you to create uh, web apps and to deliver them across multiple platforms by embedding the store inside those platforms. Um, and uh, I'll, this, is, this is a view on the store. I can't show it to you now. Um, here, is, here is in Moodle. And these are, um, these are apps which I've pulled into Moodle. But they could equally well be delivered in .learn. They could be delivered in uh, an open source uh, whiteboard platform. So it gives us a way of gathering it. As a final thought, I would say that this has been very interesting for us because we started thinking of it as a technical method for delivering uh, applications to users, and so we can do quite complex things because we can inherit the identities from the container platform, we can create multi-user systems inside here. But we find perhaps the most interesting thing is that teachers can go to the web, capture bits of uh, web functionality, resources, slides from SlideShare, videos, all kinds of things, encapsulate them as uh, widgets and then uh, describe them, and so the, the store, which I just showed you, becomes a place where these very widely distributed web resources can be brought together in the context of your virtual learning environment or wherever. You don't need to, to say, oh, there's good stuff over there, good stuff over there. You can bring it all together and deliver it uh, as collections of resources. If you're interested in any of these things, please grab me, I can show you, we can talk about how we can work together.